Today we're taking a look at the alternate version of Quick Study 11-16 from page 519 of the textbook, Chapter 11, Reporting and Analyzing Equity. This quick study is on the price-earnings ratio. The problem reads, compute top company's price-earning ratio if its common stock has a market value of $20.54 per share and its earnings per share is $3.95. Well, recall from the Learn Smart module that the price earnings ratio is simply the market value per share divided by the earnings value per share. It's somewhat of a forecast that market analysts believe how many years going forward the company has to be able to re reproduce similar earnings per share as it did currently. For our data, we simply take $20.54 divided by $3.95 and we come up to a PE ratio I have it wrong here on the slide. It's not $5.20, it's 5.2 times. It just means that analysts believe that the company can replicate its current earnings per share 5.2 more years going forward. Many analysts consider stocks with a P.E. ratio less than 5 to 8 as potentially underpriced. Uh, this stock with a P.E. of 5.2 would potentially fall within that underpriced category. And as it says on the instructor note, this is a good point at which to emphasize that PE is based on expectations and expectations can prove to be higher or lower than actual results. Duh, we all knew that. That's it for this quick study. Thanks.